North Korea has unveiled a host of new weapons in recent weeks. They include a tactical nuclear warhead, an underwater drone, and a solid fueled intercontinental ballistic missile. The significant advances in Pyongyang's arsenal were a major focus of President Biden's latest talks with his South Korean counterpart. Our mutual defense treaty is ironclad, and that includes our commitment to extend it to deterrence, and, uh, and uh, that includes the nuclear threat and the nuclear deterrent. We look at what Pyongyang said their newest weapons are capable of, and how they add to the growing threat from North Korea. In late March, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ordered the expansion of weapons-grade nuclear material to boost the country's arsenal. That same week, state media released photos showing Kim inspecting weapons, including what North Korea calls the Hwasan-31. It was the first time Pyongyang provided evidence to back its claim that it has tactical nuclear warheads that could be mounted on its missiles. By the beginning of April, Pyongyang said an underwater drone it tested twice is capable of conducting nuclear attacks. Referring to an earlier exercise, state media said the drone could trigger a, quote, radioactive tsunami. On April 13th, in another first, Pyongyang launched a solid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missile. Experts said if this solid fuel technology is perfected, the long-range weapon can be deployed faster and is harder to detect. The missile traveled for more than 600 miles before landing in waters east of the Korean peninsula. The US and the UN condemned the test. The Secretary General reiterates his call on the Democratic People's Republic of Korea to fully comply with its international obligations under all relevant Security Council resolutions, to reopen communications channels, and to resume dialogue leading to sustainable peace and the complete and verifiable denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. North Korea said the launch was part of its response to consecutive joint military drills between the US and South Korea. Less than a week after the launch, Pyongyang said it finished building the country's first spy satellite, which is aimed at collecting real-time information on the US military and its allies. Shortly after state media released photos of Kim and his daughter visiting the country's space agency, he ordered the launch of the satellite without giving an exact date. Welcome to the White House. On April 26th, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol met with President Biden in the US. Both leaders vowed to take overwhelming action if North Korea launches a nuclear attack. The Allies will set up a group to share information on nuclear operations and planning, and the US will send strategic assets to South Korea regularly. Experts said the latest spree of missile launches and display of new technology show North Korea's weapons program has made rapid gains, and the advances are expected to continue.